Hi, I'm Chris Mawata, and I want to introduce you to Anomaly Detection. I have been a learning tree instructor since the year 2000, and I've written more than 40 courses for learning tree. I've also worked as a professor of mathematics at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga and published papers in mathematics, machine learning, and visualization. So what is anomaly detection? It is a set of techniques that use AI to identify abnormal behavior. And what would abnormal behavior be and why would we want to detect it? Well, these days we're in a data-driven world and we handle a lot of data and we're interested in data that doesn't fit the pattern. It could be data that is unusual for various reasons, and we want to identify it because sometimes it indicates that something has gone wrong, and sometimes we have algorithms that can handle data that is normal, but do not work very well with abnormal behavior. What are the types of anomaly detection? Well, we have supervised anomaly detection, this is where we first get humans to identify which of our data is normal and which of our data is abnormal. And we train a model to recognize the data that is normal. And we hope that when we give that model data in production, it will be able to tell us which of the data is normal and which of the data is abnormal. We also have semi-supervised anomaly detection, where again we have a period where we train the model, uh, but this time the data that is given to the model doesn't have to have been labeled by human beings. Instead, the model tries to first make a representation of that data and then reproduce it. The idea being that if it is able to do that with normal data, when it sees data that is not normal, it will fail to reproduce it because the data will not have the same characteristics. And then we also have unsupervised anomaly detection. This is where we don't have a training period for the model. Instead, we give the model some other information, usually information that tells it when two records, two data items are close to each other and when they're distant from each other. And we have several different algorithms that will weed out the ones that are distant from what we're terming normal data. And then we're able to uh, either remove the data that is anomalous or maybe take steps to take that into account. Okay, so how are we going to detect that something is abnormal? Well, one assumption that we shall make is that these anomalies are going to occur rarely, and so we shall say most of our data is going to be normal. And the data items that stand out in some way, the ones that have features that are significantly different from the usual, are the ones that we're going to term abnormal. So it's going to be looking for rare events. Think of things like maybe hacking, maybe bank fraud, maybe equipment that is malfunctioning or sending indications that it will soon malfunction, you know, looking at sensor data and noticing that some of the readings are not what you would expect. So we shall have several anomaly detection techniques that we can use. Uh, we might use statistical techniques where we look at the statistical distribution of our data and we notice that some of the data is not in the range that one would expect to normally get. We also will have machine learning techniques. So here we shall use supervised machine learning techniques, semi-supervised machine learning techniques, and unsupervised machine learning techniques. Now that we know what anomalies are, join us for additional content about anomaly detection from Learning Tree International.